Hello my friends and welcome to the Battletech 2.0 launch campaign. Battletech 2.0 has just come out when you are, just as you're watching this video, it will be out and you can go and download it. Um, what is different in Battletech 2.0 is uh, I got around to revising the melee system and our horde of BTR um, Developers, I guess would be the right word. Our BTR team has uh, redesigned and thoroughly upgraded all the vehicles in the game. Those are the major changes, and they are. They're major changes, so... Uh, I even made my own nasty little vehicle, so there we go. Everyone had a part in it. Um, and I'm going to play some hardest possible. So they've added 12 parts for assembly <laughs> instead of 8. It's like 8, then 12. Sweet. Random faction. Let's start with a locust. Uh, tech speed does not actually... So tech speed does not change difficulty because if it's on fast, the enemy will have new technology fast as well. And then you'll be able to get it off them. And if it's slow, then they won't have it, but neither will you. So that doesn't in any way affect the difficulty. It just makes the availability of things faster... But maybe tech speed fast to make the game slightly more difficult because it means the AI will be deploying stuff against me quicker. Half a million sea bills to start. Yeah, hard strength, of course. Aggressive wars. Ah, uh, that doesn't actually change anything. That's just a flavor thing. That means that the factions are more likely to try and conquer the galaxy. Stingy payment, slow progression, stingy salvage, lethality. No rare salvage. I don't actually know if 100% that this option works in BTR. I, I'm not entirely sure I would recommend this option because salvage is probably the number one way that you will get lost tech. So that's going to make things hard for me, but anyway... Let the suffering commence. So obviously, the pre-release campaign will still be going out for a little bit, and then it will just finish. Um, but I wanted to keep releasing it because there were some really interesting and exciting fights in the pre-release campaign. Some really, really interesting combats. And uh, I even lost a couple of battles, so I thought that was uh, that content was definitely worth keeping and putting out there. But from now on, it's going to be the BTR 2.0 campaign, <clears throat> which will likely go out daily. This is where I find out that my starting lance is like the locust and four spiders. Spiders. I'm gonna have to play like I have never played before to win this. Uh, let's just go with whatever. Go with someone who looks like. There you go, look, the guy who's got like the crying face. <laughs> the crying face tattoo already. I'm gonna just go boring and go with one that looks vaguely like me. A mercenary's career. Yeah. Alright. Dare we look in the mech bay and see what we got? Yes, I got a blackjack! <laughs> Happy days. Oh, I got the Gulag Panther as well. These days are filled with joy.
All right, let's go. Let's go capture a base. Uh, is this... This is the laser locust, isn't it? No, this is the LRM locust. Do you know what? The LRM locust, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Oh, I got Decker. Before my first month is up, I'm gonna have to fire higher and fire. I need to go over my my pilot budget and uh, and eliminate expensive pilots. If I remember correctly, Decker is like one of the most expensive pilots that you can get. Because he has a load of really good tags, but it's just a case of will I be able to afford that early on? And the answer is probably no. Ah, oh, hardest possible campaign, yes. I'm gonna do this because there are a lot of people saying that BTR is is uh it's very difficult. It, it and it will be on these settings. Um, but there's no shame in cranking the difficulty settings right down. If you put enemy force strength on easy, you should have pretty a pretty easy ride normally. It's the return of nightmare mode. All right. Begin. Command interface initiated. Look at this lovely high ground position I've been given. Got it. Moving to position. Roger uh -huh. that, Lance Leader. We're transferring now. Okay, so we're in... This map is one that you normally attack from this angle. Probably be familiar with this map from this angle. Roger. Coordinates received. Oh, turret. Now, I actually have a lot of long-range fire support here. Commander. What would I... Makes me wonder what I would use as my... tank. Confirmed. Alright. Does not have the range to fight back, although it has a metric, a metric ass load of uh, hit points. Commander. Copy that. Engaging target. Nice hit. There's obviously a light sniper turret behind that one. There's a light sniper turret over there. Good to go. That's what's busy. Uh, Don't need to tell me. Firing its AC twos at me. Ready for orders. 
ready for orders. Aye, aye. Let's bring this turret down. Critical hit, Commander. Should probably have aimed for the pagoda that it was sat on, to be fair. I hear ya. Yeah, I could have aimed for the building that it was sat on. That would have actually been an easier way to kill it. Tell me what to do. Engaging jump jet. What the blackjack lacks in style, it makes up for in armor and firepower. Waiting for orders. Don't miss. Ah, don't do that either. There we go. Roger that. All oh, right. <laughs> Turret destroyed. What a start. What can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? Got it. I actually just don't have a good scout. Moving out. Move order received. Funnily enough. Yes, Commander. Okay, he would have been able to see me from there. And I would not have been able to see him. System. Okay, alright, we're fine. Bracing for impact. Moving to attack. Ready for orders. Double time, let's go. Alright, it was a light sniper turret. I figured it was. Engaging target. That doesn't mean it's gonna be a totally easy kill though. Receiving you. Roger that. Waiting for orders. If I'd have fired my PPC, I might have killed it this uh -huh. turn. But I played it safe. Oh, that was not safe. <laughs> 60 damage. Ouch! That was not. That was yeah. That was a uh, that was an error. What's up, boss? <sighs> Darius. Of course, there are turrets. Roger. Ah, I would have missed. I would have missed the PPC shot. Waiting so actually you, playing it safe was a good idea. Got it. And the locust bags a kill. Smoke them. Light shredder, okay. Here we go. That cannot do anything to me. Engaging jump jets. Go. Engaging target. 
Those AC2s are rattling that turret's cage. Standing by. On the move. In cage attack. Oh, right. I think the locust is about to bag I itself in second kill. Time to die. Target destroyed. Simple Target clean. Destroyed. Simple clean up. Roger that. Standing by. Light laser. I can take the po Fire. pagoda. Take the pagoda down. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Where are they? Watch the flank. Oh, behind me. All right, that light laser turret is no threat to me right now. Receiving it actually has no capacity to shoot at this range. Roger. We got an R90 and a spider. The R90 is dangerous. Affirmative. Oh, 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 oh not anymore. <laughs> Critical head, commander. Oh, not anymore. Get out. Just ripped his primary armament off of him. Waiting on you, Commander. Moving out. Special delivery. Special delivery. Gotta get your Command and Conquer references in. That was left-handed. Orders. Aye. aye. Oh, nice. Inflicted some heavy damage. We will deactuate the boy. All committed. <sighs> Ooh, boy, are you lucky to be alive. Hit. Not fatal though. You think this is some kind of game? Affirmative. The Urbi's trying to tank, but it's not going to help. Roger. Got some serious damage on the leg there. Right, looks like the AI is actually thinking about this one. It's probably going to be a jump jet attack. Usually when the AI makes a big brain play like this, it's going to be some kind of jumping attack. Yup, knew it. Standing by. When uh, the AI like takes a big pause like that, it's usually calculating jump hit probabilities. Heading out. That is actually a really good move as well. It does make good moves when it does that. Not that they have a hope in hell against what I've got here, but yeah. Off. Enemy down. Goodbye, CT. I don't really have a clean shot here. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go! Orders? Waiting for orders! Smack him, lads! That hit something good. So the melee changes have basically, um, a lot of the melee values were very arbitrary in, in the base game. So, we flatten them out into a formula that you can calculate. And it will be based on the tonnage of the mech, plus whether it's got arms, whether it's got hands. It's basically based now on the realities of the mech, rather than just got it. To being totally arbitrary. Totally arbitrary based on someone's interpretation of the lore. Good to go. I am the lore. Lore. Oh, come on, that's P PPC, this boy in the backside. Bail. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oof. The dropship has appeared. Stand by to attack. I copy. Confirmed. You betcha! Enemy contact! Waiting on you, Commander! Pedal to the metal! This locust cannot actually, uh. Ready for orders. Get off that terrain easily. Locked on target. All oh, right, that pagoda is nearly gone. Yes, Commander. Finish it. This will either destroy the turret or leave it floating there. I could do this all day. Ha! Huh, destroyed the building and underneath the building is the turret structure. I feel ripped off. I feel ripped off. You can actually see that ruined stru structure underneath. Oh well, I guess I'm just gonna have to shoot it. And you can't target that metal core underneath. Commander. Which makes me sad. Base game sorcery. Burn. Oof. That turret is gone. That turret is toast. Confirmed. Copy that. Got it. We're done here. Successful. I think the pirates will be pleased with these results. I think I too will be pleased with these results. On the piracy's yar. We did well calling you in, mercenary. Oh, generic hand. 
it's actually what all the uh, part of the melee overhaul, but this is actually um, the standard equipment. Do you know what? The R90 Urban Mech is actually the fast one. Fast is a fast is a relative term, but seriously, the Urbi is actually pretty. Uh, the the R90 Urbi's got a, a bigger engine and actually can move a little bit. The standard one is desperately slow. All right, three days to fix the armor. It's not so bad. Yeah, so let's have a quick review. This is a, this is a new campaign. Commander. 16,000 salary, that's okay. So here we go, 42,000 salary for Decker. Because he's got nobility and officer and he, he's basically got loads of nice tags. That's why he's so expensive. I hear ya. Ready for orders. Whereas, of course, this pilot has no tags. So for the price of one decker, you could have four wet whetstones. Orders? Wheat stones, depending on how you want to pronounce that. Brave technician. Commander? Brave, brave, so technician. Training complete. Skill training completed. Training confirmed, Commander. Let's see what I can get away with in this early phase of the game. Yes, Commander. Good to go. Waiting for orders. So some of these pilots obviously they started with some extra EXP because Waiting of their tags. Orders. So you can see here that Decker starts with a huge amount of extra EXP because of his tags. Mech warrior training complete. Yeah, he is going to be a very expensive pilot if I'm not careful. I wonder if I should make some master tacticians, or or at least a master tactician early to uh, get my sensor lock. Free sensor lock. Training complete. Yeah, that's going to cost me an extra ten grand. I don't know if I can keep. I don't know if it's worth keeping Decker so early on. Commander. Standing by. Considering Standing his by. extreme expense. Okay. Solo jewel, but. Oh man, the salvage is just not even worth touching. Max 35 tons. Okay, alright. You 
Now this crate has actually uh, been balanced for BTR, and you are supposed to take it. I could say no, but that would be really, really harsh on myself. In fact, we may even edit the no button out, because <laughs> it's been rebalanced. I'll show you guys what's in it now. So we, we totally changed it. So it gives you a couple of just pieces of mech now. That's all it does. You get a weapon, you get some mech pieces. Um, you might get a couple of other extra weapons. So it's been it's been totally changed. You don't get free mech anymore or anything like that. It's actually been worked into the balance. Right, if I'm gonna go jewel this dude, maybe I should go and use my new ER PPC. That would be a substantial upgrade for this mech. Of course, I'm going to have to trade weight for it, but, uh, there is that SRM-4. Sixty twenty-eight. Yeah, there's only actually a 0 0.5 tonnage difference between the two. Uh, minor damage adjustment. I wouldn't say that they're exactly the same weapon, but the PPC, the standard PPC, is actually slightly better performance. But the ER PPC has got slightly better range. To be honest, it's that's too short range for uh, to actually be effective. Pretty sure these are engine heat sinks mostly. Yeah, okay. There's only one heat sink that's actually not an engine heat sink. Okay. That's up ton for the duel. So, what do I do with two tons? Thirty heat. It's it's a lot because of the jump jets. Wait. No, this is the version that doesn't have jump jets. Hmm. I think jump jets are quite important. Even if I can only get two. Alright, this medium laser will give me a little bit of extra stopping power if I really need it. Just that little tiny oh, bit of extra yeah. stopping power. This will also give some time for my pilots to recover. That work order you submitted is complete. Right, let's go and teach this boy a life lesson. Can't stop the killing. Can't stop the killing tonight. Wow. <laughs> this is all going to be about what the enemy is.
If it's some sort of short range powerhouse, if I can distance it, I'll be fine. If it's some sort of long range powerhouse, I might be in real trouble. It's only a half a skull mission, right? <laughs> Teach a life lesson. Do I still win the mission if I kill him? <laughs> if I blow away the cockpit, <laughs> do I still get paid? <laughs> now that would be an interesting life lesson. A life lesson will be taught today. And that lesson will be... Just don't. Just don't. Don't do it. Command interface initiated. Alright. Keep your eyes open and watch your sensors. Where is he? Over there. In a reasonable position, actually. I guess I want to be over here. Heavy rain. Location confirmed. We'll drive you insane with the best of emotion. Okay, all right, let's go. On the move. Copy that. Position confirmed. Rally point confirmed. Confirmed. Can I walk up there and I have to jump? I copy. Well, that's pretty much all the way up. Move order received. What is that? That's a fire star. Here's a full. Oh mate, you have no you have no idea what I'm gonna do to you. Receiving you. Yeah, this jump jets actually don't give me the greatest movement capability here. I don't know what type of fire starter he is. Not... He could be, uh... Heat or laser. I copy. Melee. Well, my friend, what's up? That is what we call a fail shot. Jumping. Receive my blessings. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Solid connection on that one. Wait a minute. That PPC show should have done 80. Light damage. Hold ah, it I'm in a burning bush. Waiting for orders. That should have done 80. Your mech is on fire. 
Wow, I'm overheating already. <laughs> the mech, the mech, the mech is on fire! <laughs> Uh, it wasn't me that did it, I swear. Probably not the wisest thing to be in a forest against fire weapons. Orders? Acknowledged. You want to go? Let's go. <sighs> oh, he's going for rear strikes all the time. My mech is overheating. Commander. Yeah, I'm gonna overheat no matter what. Oh! Over the red line. Heat damage. The heat is frying my internals. The heat is on. Well, I'm not in the forest anymore, so. Too hot. Shutting down. Oh, you fool. Standing by. Okay, let's go. Man, he's getting the rear shots on me. Watch the flank. He hasn't got much attack power, so the armor will hold, but not for much longer. Waiting for orders. Sprint to Okay. Confirmed. He shouldn't have enough movement to get behind me. I have to sprint down this road. Okay, that's fine. Light damage. Holding firm. Those flamers are going to run out of heat soon. Ah, oh, it's the rear! Shot. Okay, I only lost a heat sink. Reporting. <laughs> Critical hit. Orders. Man, this boy really did actually choose a machine that's perfect for dueling. Hmm, there are actually tiles behind there. Double time, let's go. Okay, that'll do. Ten rounds of flamers. Damage. Critical. 
Standing by. Man, I just can't get a good shot on this guy. Come on. Nice. I think I hit something good. Ready for orders. I just pushed him down the turn order. Engaging with target. Oh, get it. Target neutralized. Phew. Mission successful. That was uh, that was not good. <laughs> This mech does not have the mobility to be a long range sniper. With only two jump jets, it just doesn't have the ability to actually jump around and snipe without some other mech to screen for it. And a fire starter in a, in a desert biome is a hell of a drug. <laughs> but I won, and that's all that matters. I got my 80 damage there. Two big fat hits. He was uh, he was close to running out of flame ammo. There's only like I think 10 rounds. But uh, damn, yeah. This is why this is why fire starters are great in duels. To be fair. And I was thinking that a melee mech would be easy to deal with, but nope. If I was going to be shut down anyway, I probably should have just, uh... I should have just fired, like... Gone full sleepy awesome. But no, I mean, the maneuvering I did there was, was okay. That was pretty solid. It was, uh... Necessary to protect myself. I actually took very little solid damage here. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, the, the jump capability on this is... Terrible. Job's done, Commander. That did not really achieve anything for me. Um, so we started with half a million sea bills, and now we've got seven hundred and sixty-five thousand and a couple of bits and pieces. It's not bad considering the financial report is in 18 days and it's going to cost me 300,000. Those jewels, man, they always seem to get me. This solo jewel, what tonnage is it? Out of pure interest. Oh, it's 35 tons. It's another 35 ton duel. Ooh, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. If I, if it was a panther that had four jump jets, I'd, I'd feel a lot better. Because four jump jets would just let me bounce around with my PPC. Then again, a fire starter was probably one of the worst things I could have faced. I could have literally faced anything else and it would have been okay. Well, that's something to think about for next time. I'd probably do it because I like to push my luck. But that is it for now. I hope you guys are enjoying the release of Battletech Revised 2.0. Go and download it. Um... As always, I appreciate any support on my Patreon. BTR also has a Patreon. Um, we hope you 
you love the mod, that you love the content, and I will see you guys next time.